Hey everyone! Welcome to a new lesson. Hey. Ah, ah, ah. Mr. Vanilla! What? What, what Mr. is Vanilla? it? What? There's aliens on the porch! Aliens? Yeah! They're big and they're fluffy and they're gray and they go ho 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 ho! Do they, do they move their arms like this? Uh, yeah, their arms look like wings! Those and are... they, they leave a huge pile of alien goo right on the porch! Those, those are wings, buddy. What? Yeah. I've never seen anything like them! They're called pigeons. What? Yeah, they're birds. What? Yeah. I guess I've never seen a bird up close. You're part flamingo. Flamingos are birds. Uh, you know. I never really visit that family. But also, that means that's not alien goo, it's... It, it. Mm -hmm. Oh. We are not going to talk about what pigeons leave behind. <laughs> Because uh, this is not a science program. It's a math program. Dibs on not cleaning it up. Yeah, well. Like you clean up anything. <laughs> I throw my tissues in the trash now. Like an adult. It's progress. Yes. Today. What are we doing today? Today, we today. are going to be talking about multiplying mixed numbers by whole numbers. Okay, we've done multiplying oh. fractions by each other. We've done whole numbers times fractions. We've done yeah. whole numbers times fractions where we have a remainder yeah. after the division. Well, mixed number times a whole number is not going to be all that much different. Okay? Oh. Yeah. More steps, probably? A little bit, but okay. not too much. Okay? All right. But one of the important things that we need to know how to do is to actually turn a mixed number into an improper fraction. Oh, do you want to show me right now? Sure, let's do that. Okay, okay. let's look at a number like, okay. say, three and a half. Okay? Okay. So, if you'll remember, okay, when we did the division, to get a mixed number, our denominator, did it change? No, the denominator stayed the same. No, so when we're going the other way now. Now we're turning a mixed number back into an improper fraction. Okay, oh. so we're going to make that denominator, it's gonna stay the same. Now, oh. I need to figure out how many halves are in three wholes. So to do that, all I need to do is multiply two times three, because in every one whole, there are two halves. So I take my denominator, and I multiply it by my whole number. Oh. So what's two times three? It's six. It's six. Now, I can't just put a six here because I have to use the and numerator. You still got well. one of those halves there. Right, I need to add that, okay? Because there's oh. six in here, there's six in there, okay? And I need to add that one onto it. So what does that give me? Seven? Seven. Seven oh. halves. And now, if I wanted to, I could multiply that by a whole number. Get so... my answer and then divide. So let's say I was okay. gonna do three and one half, okay, times okay. two. All right, so three and one half times two. Okay? okay, well now I've got seven halves. Okay, so I can take my two. You can trade it out for uh -huh. something else. And I'm gonna put my two first just because it'll make sense on the board. Remember, in multiplication, the order does not matter. Yeah. We're gonna get to dividing fractions and you can't switch those. Oh, but okay. in multiplication, doesn't matter. Right? Woohoo! So what do I put under my two? Fractionate it, put a one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so two times seven, because it's in the numerators, right? We do those first. That's 14. It is. And then 1 times 2, those are the denominators. Yep. That's still just 2. It is just 2. And what's oh, I can divide that into 7! 7, okay. Whoa! We also could have done 2 divided by 2. Oh, yeah, because that fits in there. Gotten 1, and 1 times 7 is 7. Oh, yeah, okay. I see that. Wait, right. can you show me again how to change the mixed number into an improper fraction? Absolutely. I want to try that again. Okay, sure. I'm going to let you walk me through it. I'm going to give you a mixed okay. number, and you're going to turn it into a fraction. Yeah. Okay? And then we're going to multiply by something. Okay, okay, okay. All right? Okay. So here, I'm going to switch colors just for the heck of it. Okay. So let's go with 5 and 3 eighths. Okay. So when you were doing this before, yeah. first you multiplied and then you added, mm -hmm. right? Yep. So you kind of started at the bottom and worked your way around. Yep. You did eight. Well, you did the numerator. No. Okay. Okay, I can do this. You can. I believe in you. All right. The denominator. Yes. You multiplied that by the whole number. I did. And that's how you found out how many eighths eighths would be in five holes. Exactly. Okay. How, how many is that? That would be 40. Then you still had a couple eighths left over, so you added them to that total. So then you would have 43 eighths. Correct. Because the denominator stays the same. Mm -hmm. 
Whoo! Okay, so you just work your way around. Multiply and then add. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So, 43 eighths. That's, that's a lot right. of eighths. Mm -hmm. It is. So, if we were to multiply that by something, I'll pick a number that's relatively small. So, when we multiply it, it's not going to give us anything too crazy. Okay. So, let's do 43 eighths. Let's multiply it by 3. Okay? Okay, all right. 3 times 43 eighths. So, what do I need to do now? Uh, fractionate it. Okay, that means give it a denominator of? 1. 1. Now I can multiply yeah. across. Now, let's do the denominator first because that's real simple. What's 8 times 1? Wow, that's just 8. It is just 8. Now, 8 is great. Okay, so we need okay. to do 3 times 43. Uh, easy. Now, okay. 43 is 40. I'm going to change the colors here. 40 okay. plus 3. Oh, now, break that into you know parts. what 3 times 3 is. What's 3 times 3? Uh, 9. 9. Okay. And... You know what 3 times 4 is? What's uh, that? Well, that's 12. Put your 0 at the end. Oh, 120! Remember, any number that ends in 0, if it's a two-digit number, you know how to yeah. multiply. Because it's just the same thing as a single-digit number. Just extend with it. With a 0 at the end. So it's 120. Yeah. So what's 120 plus 9? 129. 129. Okay. So now we have 129. Right. 8. 8. Right. Okay, this is, remember, this was 5 and 3 eighths. Times three. That was our original problem. I'm going to write it up there just so we can remember. Okay. Okay. Five and three eighths times. Oops, that's a plus sign. Oh no! <laughs> now I made a smudge. <laughs> Always use your eraser on the way. Yeah. It's very tempting to use your hand, but that spreads like the marker and a little bit of your, your hand grease. And sometimes takis dust. Yeah. Definitely. If you've been eating takis, you definitely want to use your marker. Okay. Yeah. So now I'm going to leave that up there because we're going to look at a different way to solve it right after we solve it this way. Okay? Oh. So, oh, okay. now I've got 129 divided by 8. Remember, we have to do our division. Oh, yeah, because we've got to turn this back into a mixed number. Exactly. You improper fraction, you! No matters! Okay. okay. So. Uh, well, 8 can go into 12. Right, it doesn't go into 1, but it does go into 12. Yeah, but I'm only in, one time. Only one time. So we put yeah. 8 down here. 8, subtract, you get 4, bring down the 9. Uh, is that 6 times 8 is 48? It is, because 7 times 8 is 56. So yeah. that's too much, but that's 6 times much. 8 is 48. 6 times 8 is 48. Put our 6 there, okay? Okay. 48 here. Subtract, you get 1. Okay, so what's our denominator? Uh, it stays the same, it's 8. Still 8. It stays the same. Okay. And our remainder is the numerator, 1 8. 16 and 1 8. Ooh, okay. this time we got a bigger answer. We did. All right, well, we multiplied 5 times 3, and also with 3 eighths in there, too, they yeah, added this yeah. a little bit more. So we're going to look at a slightly different way to do that. Okay. okay. We're going to take a quick break, and then we're going to check out a different way this works with a the break. same numbers. I'm going to go say hi to the pigeon aliens. Okay. We'll be right back. Okay. okay. So we solved this problem already, all right? And we yeah. got, do you remember what our answer was? If 16 and, no, I don't remember. It was 16 and 1 eighth. Okay. okay. So <laughs> you are in a great memory. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do this slightly differently. You can do this by multiplying first your two whole numbers together. So if you do that, what's five times three? Oh, well, that's fifteen. It's fifteen. Hold on to that. We're going to use a little bit of it later. Okay. okay. Now you can do three eighths. Okay. Times three also. Okay. Oh. This is, you can split up a multiplication problem and put it back together. Remember, we do that all the time. Right, okay? right, right, so, right, right. So, right. what do we do with our three? Uh, fractionate it, three over one. Okay, so multiply. Nine eighths. Nine eighths. Oh, now. That's, that's one and one eighth. I can figure that one out right away. Right, because you know that eight eighths make one whole. This is like when we added fractions and we had a little extra left over. Yeah. And we had to take that one whole out, okay? Mm -hmm. So this would be one and one eight, one eight. okay? Because we divided nine by eight, we got one, and we had one left over. Now, take that one eight, one and one eighth, and add it to your 15. Oh, and just put it back together. 16 and, 16 and one eighth, Woo! Exactly. Okay, so, Woo! when you're multiplying a mixed Woo! number and a whole number, it's up to you how you want to solve it. Yeah. You can solve it by turning the whole number, sorry, the mixed number, into an improper fraction, Yeah. and then multiplying, and then dividing, or, you can Break just... Break into the two parts. Right. You can multiply your whole numbers and multiply your whole number and your fraction. Kind of like before when we multiplied like a, a number by... Like it was like 
like we multiplied things by 10 and 4 instead of 14. We broke the, the 14 exactly. into 10 and 4. Mm -hmm. And in here, we just broke the 5 and 3 eighths into 5 and then 3 eighths. Exactly. We multiplied each part by 3 and added it together. And oh my gosh, we got the same answer. And remember, when you add a whole number and a mixed number, you just add the whole numbers and you leave the fraction part alone. Yeah. So 15 plus 1 is 16. And 1 eighth. And 1 eighth. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Not super. super All right. Fun. And so when the numerator is bigger, like when you're going to get something that's in a, a larger number, you might want to do it this way. So you don't have to deal with like multiplying yeah. three times 43 like we did in the previous problem. Yeah. So, you know, but it's up to you. Up. you can it's kind of it like Legos. You can break them apart and put them back together as long as they fit. Sure. As long as the pieces fit right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can okay. make whatever you want out of it. Yeah. Although in math, we want to follow the directions on the box. And yeah. Have it actually look like what it's supposed to look like. Right. Follow directions. That's something you think you can do? Sometimes. All right, you want to do one more of these? I'm going to let you Absolutely. decide how you want to do it, okay? Okay. What if we do it both ways? You can do it both ways. Okay, so we'll okay. do it both ways. We'll make the okay. problem red and blue. Ooh. We'll make it three blue. and two thirds okay. times four. Okay. okay. So, um, which way do you want to do first? Let's do it. The longer way first. Which way? So longer? where we make well the one that had, where we make three and two thirds into an improper fraction. Okay. And then we multiply it by four over one. So we do the three times three plus two. Go all around. What's our denominator? Three. Okay. Okay. I'll follow the direction. Three times three is nine plus two is eleven. Eleven, so 11 thirds. thirds times 4, fractionate it over 1, 11 times 4 is 44, and 3 times 1 is 3, 44 thirds. Ooh. Will that go evenly? I don't think so. No. Okay, but that's not a problem. Solvable. Okay? Okay. So, here's our division. Okay. This is long, right? This is a long one. Well, it's got a bunch, it's got, it's got a bunch of oh, steps. steps. But, yeah. look, anything you do with mixed numbers, Unless you're just adding or subtracting a whole number, it's gonna have a bunch steps. of steps. Yeah. Okay, fair. That's fair, how makes fair, fair, numbers fair. work. I get it. So, all right, three goes into four one time. One times three is three. Four minus three is one. Bring down the four. The three goes into fourteen four times because three times four is twelve. Correct. And then I subtract it and I get two. Mm -hmm. So fourteen and my denominator will be. Three, because it doesn't change, and my numerator is the remainder, so two. So 14 and two thirds. 14 and two thirds. We're going to put that up here. Okay, now let's try it the other way. Okay, let's see if we get the same answer. All okay. right. Erase, 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 okay. erase, erase, now. erase, erase. Okay, so we're going to break it into two parts. Yeah, what's. So first, I do the three times the four. What's that? That's 12. It's 12. Okay, now. Now I'm going to do two thirds times four. So two thirds times four over one. I fractionate it. So it's two thirds, eight over three. Okay, so. Okay. You and do our quick division. How many threes go into eight? Two. Two. And what's two three is six. So if there's six, you're taking six of the thirds out. How many are going to be I'll left? I'll just have two left over. Two thirds left over. Two and two thirds. So we had so, the 12 and the 2 and 2 thirds. And what 14 and 2 thirds. 14 and 2 thirds. Ah! Yep. Either way works. We did it. We did it. We did it. Okay. Man, those aliens on the porch gave me super brain powers. Again, pigeons. Yeah. Pigeons must be real smart, huh? I don't think so. They're not known for that? I mean, like homing pigeons can figure out where to go. They can be trained. Oh, there you go. But, uh, you know. Just because you can train something doesn't mean it's particularly smart. What? Yeah. I mean. Is that a, are you saying something about me? Oh, wait. You can't train me. Yeah. That would, <laughs> that would imply that I'm you can. I'm smart. Be, I'm smarter imply, than you. <laughs> you're taking that in the wrong direction. Oh, always. Yeah. Yeah. Some things can't be trained. Sometimes it's because they're too smart. Sometimes uh, it's because. What? You know what? We should do a recap. We should do a recap. Yeah, recap! We'll be right back. Okay, so, to recap. Remember, there's two different ways to do this. There's a lot written on the board right now, but I'll go through it, okay? First okay. way we did it. Turn your mixed number into 
an improper fraction. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you multiply the numerators and the denominators. Yeah. Then you divide. Get your answer yeah. as a new mixed number. Okay? Or 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 multiply the whole numbers. Multiply the fraction times the other whole number. Mm -hmm. Yeah, break it, break it apart. Break it apart. Break it apart. Divide, if necessary. I mean, if it was like one-fourth times three, then it wouldn't need to divide because it would just be three-fourths. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, most yeah. of the time, you're going to need to divide. And yeah. then put them back together. Yeah. Okay? Those are your two different ways of doing it. There's a lot of steps to both, as you can see. Okay? And I've even simplified yeah. some of these steps for the recap. But that doesn't mean you can't do it. You can definitely do it. Yeah. You just have to remember how to, like, how to do all the little math in between to make things... The same. So you can put the same with the same. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Follow the steps it. and you won't miss the path. Yeah. Right? Follow the fraction brick road. That's la, right. La, 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 la. Yeah. Were you an extra in The Wizard of Oz? I mean, you I am quite small. You look like you could have been part of the lollipop game no. or something. No, but I did have an aunt that they dropped a house on. Really? Yeah, her tights look just like my shirt. Remember? I keep learning so many new things about your family. Is everyone in yeah. your family famous? Hey, they're all pretty red. That aunt, though, she was kind of a... Well, she was not very fun. She was not very nice. Well, you know what? Nobody not, liked her. We're not going to speak ill of the dead. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But we got to keep her cats. And they were real snuggly. Right. Yeah. It's time to go. Say goodbye. <sighs> Follow the fraction brick road. La 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 la. This concludes. Bye, everyone. This concludes Bye. our video lesson. See you next time. See you next time. Bye. Bye.